the heart is noisy. You can hear what's going on in there. You can place your ear against the chest of your daughter, your son, your friend, your the love of your life, and you will hear sounds. You can place a stethoscope in somebody's chest and you will hear sounds. What those sounds are produced by? By the closing of the valves. Not the opening that makes no sound in the normal uh, heart, it makes no sound at all. It's the closing of the valves. So when both atrioventricular valves close, you will hear the first sound. Look, when both semilunar valves close, you're going to hear the second sound. Dup, lup, dup, lup, dup. So what is in between the, or let's see the timing actually of this closing, the valve closing. So look at that um, semilunar, I'm sorry, the atrioventricular valves are closing right before or at the beginning of the ventricular contraction. And the semilunar valves are closing right at the end of the ventricular contraction. So what do you have between the closing of the atrioventricular valves and the closing of the semilunar valves? What you have is ventricular contraction. So you will hear something like this, one sound, which is louder, that's number one, and then a second sound that is not that loud, that is the second heart sound, look to. And in between, let's make another first sound, okay? So in between the first and the second sound, we know, because we just saw it in here, systole is going on. Con the ventricular contraction or the ventricle is contracting, both ventricles, okay? Then you hear that the same mind unit valves close and what's happening after that is ventricular filling, which is diastole, okay? So the way to identify the first sound is usually the one that happens at the same time you're measuring the pulse. So that's the best way to if you want to, you know, explore, get a stethoscope, place it. I'm going to tell you where. Uh, and the first sound is the one that you will hear at the same time you will feel the, uh, the wave in, in the pulse. Okay? Usually it's uh, louder. But if you have any doubt, it's the one that happens at the same time you feel the pulse. So try to concentrate and you will hear the Dup, 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 dup. So, dup. first sound, a silence, systole, stop, I mean, look, second sound, a silence, diastole, dup. first, systole, second, diastole, and that's the sequence of your heart sounds. Now, where can we hear that? To, these are the places where we can best hear the valves, the four valves, and of course those. this is where you want to place the stethoscope because that's where the noise or the sound is coming from, from the closing of these valves. Now, it's, it might be a little confusing because we know that all of them are kind of aligned, we said in the coronary sinus, and but don't get confused with this. I'm not going to ask you this in the exam, but I think. Uh, but look where we are going to hear this sound. In the second intercostal space, remember, look for the external angle, look for the uh, second rib and the, the space that you have under that, that's your second intercostal space. In there is where you're going to place the stethoscope. Of course, in between the ribs, not on top of the bones, you, you, it won't be so clear, the sound. So right in there, you're going to hear the, on the right side, the aortic. Hey, the aorta isn't in the right side. This is because just how the sound wave travels in there, and we're not going to explain that. The thing is that in the second intercostal space, right side, you're going to hear the aortic valve. And the left side, you're going to hear the pulmonary valve. And the atrioventricular valves are uh, heard in the fifth intercostal space. So keep counting and you're gonna get to the fifth intercostal space, both of these on the left side. 
uh, tricuspid valve is best heard in the fifth intercostal space uh, in the is called parasternal line right in the edge of the sternum the border of the sternum in here and the um, the mitral valve is best heard in where the apex is remember where the apex is in the midclavicular line fifth intercostal space that's where you're gonna place the stethoscope and you know, I was looking to insert a video so you can hear the sounds right in here. I'm just going to show you the video so you can see how they open and close. Um, the, how synchronized, synchronized uh, they are, but you won't hear anything. Uh, Google, go in YouTube. I, I found this in YouTube, normal heart sounds. Uh, but in order to hear these, you need headphones. So, but I'm going to show you. Look at the sequence. Open. Oh, this is so fast. Isn't that amazing? Open both atrioventricular, close both semilunar. Then, let me see if I can catch it. Ah, I can't. But see that? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> this is a challenge now, guys. Uh, uh, ha, got it. Okay, see in here, the uh, semilunar valves, I'm sorry, the atrioventricular valves closed. This is the first sound. And the semilunar valves at that moment are open. Okay. Um, that's it. So see you in the next video. Who activates? Anyways, this hard to contract. That's in the next one.